Hi everyone, it's Marina. I'm here today to show you how to use Inca Gold and different applications and ways you can use it. I have not mastered it, of course, but I had a few questions about my last video where I made the steampunk mini album for my mother, and they were ask, uh, asking how I used um, how it's used and how quick it dries and how to apply it. So I'm just gonna put those in this video. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with some gold. And it looks like this. It comes in a jar like this. And I know there's smaller ones. I ordered mine from Amazon, and I got the big container. I will say that these do go a very long way. A little bit goes a very long way. Right. So I had turned this leaf silver already. And I kind of just want to accent the leaves, or the leaf veins. if you can see it very much but and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one silver since that's what I did a minute ago and over here I have a oh, baby wipe and it's water reactive so that's how I do it I just wipe it right off you can also apply with one of these or one of these whatever your preference is I don't think it's toxic I haven't had any reactions to it and I'm allergic to beeswax and other stuff so that's good I should probably get Benadryl for when I do stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm kind of just smearing it on right now. It, I will say it dries pretty fast and it's very easy to use. Very fun and easy to use. Okay, so this is silver now and I'll show you how it reacts to water when you add some water. I had layered on my leaf, I had the silver on too thick, and I kind of just added water and see, look, back to the original color that it was with some silver, just a little bit of silver, depending on how much you take off. So I'm going to play with this a little bit in, um, in a minute. This is the leaf that I did, and if you want it to be more shiny than it is, all you got to do is buff it. and it'll be shiny. You can add on a whole bunch of color if you want to. I can put a whole bunch of silver in here. And it reacts again once it's dry, so that's cool. I thought that was cool. I haven't used it on wood yet, so I'm going to see how that works. The silver that I got is way more creamy than the gold that I got, but I like them both ways. I like the gold uh, as thick it is it, as it is because I can just touch it and get what I need from it. And this one, I have to be more careful. I don't want to get too much and it just comes out really easy. This is probably, um, I have some things I've been meaning to alter and I haven't gotten to it yet, so I'm kind of just using them in the video to get them started. Alright, I'm going to spray some water on this one. I don't want this one to go back to its original color, which is like a bronze. 
I still want this one to be silver, so I'm not going to wipe it all off. And it wipes right off. So, um, I guess that's all for now. I would suggest definitely trying Inca Gold. There's lots of different ways you can use it. I like to use it over, like, after I've distressed something, I like to use it over that. It has a great effect on lots of different stuff. Um, you can use it on flowers. I was going to paint this, but I don't want to waste too much time. You can use it on paper. You can use it in mixed media. It's mostly for, I would say, it's you, you could, uh, change the color of glass or uh, wood or anything really and just make it look look like gold or silver and once you get other colors then you can make it look metallic it's fun it's fun stuff so if you have any questions that I didn't answer in the video go ahead and ask and I'll do my best to answer like I said I haven't used this uh, product too much but it is fun to use so I'm looking forward to learning a lot of different a lot more different things about it Alright, well, have a good day, everyone.